I am doing fine. How are you feeling coming in Manipur University? Yeah, yeah I am very, very happy to be here. I have been to very many universities um, in many parts of the world. I find this is a world-class facility. Yes. This is what I can say. Yeah. One word about this uh, Manipal Chef country, 1.0. Yeah, very nice to be here. I'm coming to Jaipur, I don't know after how many decades. Yes. Uh, first of all, it's very nice to be in Jaipur and very nice to be in uh, Manipal University. Yes. I interacted with the students a bit. I can see that they're very lively. They're very participative yes. and they're willing to ask questions and they want to discover themselves. So that's that's a great thing I feel here. One thing you want to tell to all the students who are currently pursuing hotel management in the bachelors. Yeah, hotel management again, see people will tell you a lot of stories about how it is tough, why it is very demanding, why it is uh, punishing and all that. But you realize, see, one, you, can't, uh, you can't plant a seed today and get the fruit tomorrow. It takes some time. You'll have to water it. You'll have to take care of it. Your carrier also is like a tree. So you'll have to take care of it. You will eventually see the fruit. There is no denial. So uh, in the initial stages in the hospital industry is going to be a little tough. But it, it is part of life. Where it is not tough. It is tough. So I wanted to join the armed forces. So if I had to go to the NDA, then if I had to be a second lieutenant, it's going to be tough. My, my boss is going to be always saying, march up. Or if you do something, so it's it's tough, tough everywhere. But yes, you spend three, four years in the industry, uh, you are the king there. So how do you motivate your staff? So it, this is the way I tell them, and I also tell them. See, sometimes the youngsters may feel what is done to me is not right. Um, this person is not treating me fair. But you will be in one, you will be one day in this position. Don't do it. Don't do it, take care of your people, take care of them very well, that's what you can do. But uh, life is very, very good in the hospital, yes. I can say. I have spent more than 40 years, yes. I always thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, okay, yes. so uh, I really want you to feel a bit nostalgic. You remember your first dish you have prepared? Yeah, first dish means I actually participated in large events. Okay. So it's you don't get to prepare one dish, uh, say one big, but then you participate in preparation of a dish. So my first job, first assignment was uh, Asian Games 1982. Okay. So we had to cook for 5,000, 6,000 people. Okay. So I'm uh, from uh, south of India and then I'm not used to Delhi winters. So I think it was 4 degrees, 5 degrees. So I had to wait in uh, Sarojini Ring Road at um, 4.30 in the morning, wait for the bus to pick up and take us to Asian Games Village and then you go and cook and take care of the athletes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was an amazing experience for me. Beating the weather, yes. going and cooking for more than 5,000 people. It was an experience. Yeah, you, you don't get this experience. No, okay, it's very so rare. Time, you know, people used to love eating more pizzas, burgers and all. But how we add millets in our diet? How important it is to add millets? So in the morning also I was saying, see, traditionally at homes also, people have been encouraged to eat millets. Right. For example, fasting. So the only thing was allowed is millets. Because you fast, but then it is, it is also the other effect, no? Aaj fasting and aji millet kaunga, dusra din I will not have it. It's also one way it has worked. But I think there are a lot of innovative dishes, say simple breakfast dishes have been converted into millet form. So modern days, cornflakes is very popular, isn't it? Now we are coming with millet flakes. Probably we are coating millets with uh, cocoa. Mm. Chocolate, so it's become it's it's becoming fashionable. Yes. Right. Uh, any type of millet you wanna tell that this is very important to add in your diet. Hey, any millet, any, any millet is uh, good. So I I like the uh, banyard millet a little bit. What we call in our local language Gudrawali. So because it can actually make a nice savory dish with a earthy feel. It also can make a nice dessert dish with the earthy feel. So you actually taste the soil there. You actually get the reminiscent of the soil. So that's what I like more. As we can see in India, people are suffering from so many medical issues like BP, sugar in very you know younger age. So any uh, one millet you wanna uh, you know refer to each and everyone who can take it and. So I'm not a medical professionist, uh, so I may not be able to advise uh, you take this. But then what happens is millets uh, lacks gluten. Okay. So people, lot of people have gluten intolerance. Right. For them, it's a ready-made solution available. Why you want to go and dis why you want to go and check out a non-gluten flour? Where is it available and all that? But yes, it's it's very easy to get that and put it in your diet. And then it has got equivalent amount of protein as it much as in uh, wheat. Yes. So whoever is having rice can actually shift to millet. It's also good. Yeah. Right. So okay. Yeah. So lastly, one message to all the viewers who are watching here. Yeah, but uh, continue enjoying life, continue cherishing food, uh, food is life. Thank you. So one question from my side. Yeah. Uh, if you have to choose 
dosa or roti between the two which one you eat no i will i will eat everything so but anyway dosa is all time favorite there is no doubt uh, yes but dosa is not what you eat today uh, as it is no it's all paper thin in homes it is never made that way it is actually made thicker thicker, yes. thicker so that's what i enjoy more because it has got some space to soak in the curry and sambar <laughs> yeah thank you thank you, thank you.